All right, guys, end of the week. You know what this means. This is the ESPN Highlight Reel MIC style coming off Monday where the market was closed for Martin Luther King Day. So uh, happy Martin Luther King Day on Monday. And then, guys, at any point in this video, I just kind of want to make this clear. Um, 213-458-5997 is my business line. Or you can go to myinvestingclub.com and book a call. So at any point in this video, if you like this, if we bring the energy, we bring the passion for trading, that's what we're kind of known for. Uh, if this resonates with you, book a call and get some information on MIC by contacting me directly. That's me. Uh, but guys, check this out. So we're coming off Monday, Martin Luther King Day. Alex had a phenomenal week, over a hundred thousand dollars. And guys, let's just we're gonna dive right in. So this is this is kind of like the highlight reel of the week. Alex, a hundred and two thousand, coming off an insane small account challenge for the year. Started at thirty-five k. Tipping, actually, right now, guys, right now, currently speaking, he's over four hundred thousand dollars on this small account challenge. But after last week of a hundred eighty-five thousand dollar day and so many other green days. Alex started the week this week with 102,000 on what was it? I think the 17th of Tuesday. He's an animal. Nothing else needs to be said. He's a freaking outliers outlier phenom. And um, guys, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, they don't make them like Alex. But I'll tell you one thing. They're starting to an MIC. We're starting to produce mini Alexes, and that's pretty exciting. So let's get into this. We are looking at Tuesday the 17th. So the first one is going to be TCBP. And uh, let's scroll back just so we can find this. So, guys, check this out. I gave a webinar on this. The day before on Friday, because Monday was off, on the 13th, it got smoke showed, as you guys can see right here, smoke showed. What's the number one thing? I give webinars all the time. Travers always answers this, one of our webinar members, correctly. When you have something that gets absolutely obliterated, dropped a nuke bomb, What's gonna happen? You need a dead cap bounce, and that's what we got pre-market. So once this topped out, this dead cap bounce, longs are stuck, now they have an ability to come out. Alex is absolutely hammering and crushing this, following it down and covering into the immediate open on these flushes, on these washes. So guys, this is what you're always looking for on something that's really broken down. You need the meat, you need the meat to come back. And that's exactly what happened. He was saying topped out pre-market, ideally a pop and a rejection of VWAP to short it back down to red or a morning push and a rejection of pre-market high a day to short. So Alex absolutely crushed that. EDSA was kind of a freaking joke. Um, literally, guys, just a pump job gone wrong. Or in this case, completely right for Alex. But, you know, shorting upwards of here, guys, covering pre-market. Nothing really needs to be said about that except, man, right place, right timing, right thinking. I mean, what more needs to be said, right? CAD, broken pre-market and expensive borrows, so was looking for a large morning bounce towards VWAP to short. Let's take a look at CAD. Alex did a phenomenal job of shorting into the open on this completely broken stock. Up, 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 down, down, down. Any pop towards VWAP is met with some resistance. Alex is crushing it pre-market. Covers into the open on this flush. Guys, not much more you can do with that. Totally caught the meat of the move and moved on for a hunt. And I think he was shorting BBBY as well. But I want to, again, guys, there's so many charts that I could show you. But I just, for the sake of time, we're going to keep this a little bit short and sweet. But $102,000 on Tuesday, which was the first day of this week. Let's see what the members were doing. They were crushing as well. I love that word, crushing, because they, they're literally crushing price action. But check this out. So LMAC. Awesome job on MGOL. Where'd stock top out? Let's hit it where, you know, where we should. Let's wait for a process. Let's wait for a good entry. Um, I love what Hooper X did on this right here, guys, on DCFC. Shorted, shorted and followed it down. Got his stuff in the open and just absolutely crushed this thing. Going into TT's. Uh, kind of that's what my ex-girlfriend used to call me tt <laughs> that's hysterical uh just did a phenomenal job guys on bior and again we want to short at outer resistance lines and then once this topped out he was confident to get back in uh kind of recycle shares i love that so what we have right here guys is we just did a meetup with a bunch of our members of man we got a buff guy in it don't mess with them i see members dude i'm telling you i don't want to i don't want to go toe to toe with this gentleman right here so this is what the community looks like guys this is what this is what MIC in person looks like. Bao and Steven, our travel mod, and a bunch of our members. I'm telling you, man, I don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this dude. But this is how fun it is. And he might be a professional bodybuilder. This guy might be an engineer. This guy might be an electrician. This is the power of networking and community and meeting like-minded traders. Then we've got Bao's son, Vegas. Um, so it's just super fun. 
Split letter on CVNA plan was to go long and short. I think he did both on this, actually, which was phenomenal. So this guy's becoming so talented. Just another member I want to shout out, which there's endless members to shout out. Irresponsibly long. Bartender, now trader, is just absolutely crushing these longs and doing exactly what she should do. So I think I have another PL of her this week saying better than bartender. She made like 800 bucks. So that's the power of the community, guys. Getting out of jobs you hate. Uh, to click a couple buttons for money. That's pretty exciting. Coming into Wednesday, obviously my new member orientation days, I give webinars on that, but Alex said, felt like today, oh, this is an interesting day, guys. This is a very interesting day because Alex was actually, I think, crushing Tesla. So just because he trades small caps does not mean, guys, that there's not a wonderful opportunity. I'm gonna show you why. 6.5K on the day, felt like today was gonna be sell the news day on the indexes. They ran the indexes up to sell on the PPI news. Got some shorts on Tesla today. Here's the thing, guys. You have to always pay attention to world events, current news, anything that's going on, because that's going to affect the indices, that's going to affect the markets, and that's going to affect, look, if three out of four big caps follow the markets, you need to know what's going on in the in the state of affair of the world, or especially the United States. But you need to watch the news. You need to see what's going on. And I'm not a big fan of news in personal life, but I am a big fan of news if you play the indexes and or um, just essentially the stock market in general. You got to know what's going on. So right here, we're going to pull this up. Alice gives a full discussion on this, which I love. Started in short based on the stock topping out, which it did pre-market. Then he added to a winner on this coming in. We're coming into the open. He locked in profits. Here's the funny part. I tried to short more and add to a winner in the open, but accidentally hit buy. Then I realized what I did and I hammered in some more. That's so funny, guys. So these shorts that Alex, these these covers on the short that Alex was taking, he meant to just smoke show this and at, drop the Thor hammer, but he accidentally hit the wrong button. It, essentially, you know, good process paid himself some, so he definitely cushioned himself and then recycled back on the bounces and then covered on supports. Absolutely beautiful job. Even if it was a clerical error, it's just still so beautiful. And then the members were also following suit and crushing on Tesla as well, let alone just the general watch list daily. Hooper X, let me kind of pull this up, guys, one sec. I'm going to try to expand this so you guys can see these in, in better fashion. But uh, I love this. I love this. The first trade at VWAP, which is so cool because uh, we teach this all the time, guys. Stock broken down under VWAP. Come the open. You just want to hammer into VWAP if it's reaching those levels. So that that's just so key. It's just so important. Uh, Travers on C CVNA. Wonderful job. First one was a cut. Got back in, sold the rip, and just this this kid has such good risk management skills of making sure that if he's wrong the first trade, he's gonna he's gonna take a stab a second time and really play it correctly. Randy on Tesla, wonderful job, guys. Exactly what he should be doing, following Alex's guidance and on the watch list. Uh, irresponsibly long. This is that one that I was just talking about. This beats bartending. Eight hundred dollars for the day. Guys, I, there's very few places you're gonna make $800 bartending in one day, right? So welcome to trading, well, welcome to click a couple buttons for an hour or two in the morning, make that kind of money, and then go to your day job, and then dual, dual income, baby. Um, Travers on OTRK, I recognize the chart, so I put this. Uh, I love this, got in right here, sell the rip, cushion himself, got in again, and piecemealed out, just absolutely phenomenal job. This is what true process looks like. And then David on CVNA, fantastic following down continuation of trend this is what it's all about guys following trends so just just an just a wonderful job man you guys are really really understanding process so now we're coming in thursday the 19th and uh alex forty two hundred dollars for the day today was a bit of a choppy day for me morning started off great with a hoodie short from the watch list, NRSN looked broken pre-market, so I started shorting on bounces, but the stock bounced a little more than I was expecting, leading to a tough fade. Stock selection always and forever remains key in this market, $4,200, and we are going to take a look at NRSN. So let me pull this up real quick, guys. Alex gave really good guidance on this, and let's pull this up. And this is, uh, this is the 19th, so we're going to go right here. And then hopefully I can cram all these together. I need some more screen space, man. All right. So uh, what you guys can see is that this was here. Let's just go through this. So what happened is, guys, come the open, come come the morning, what Alex was doing right here. And I'll just kind of, because Alex doesn't trade midday. So we're just going to kind of zoom in on the morning. 
Alex said, I started shorter. I started I started short on a VWAP rejection. So this is where he's got in, guys. Uh, essentially, how many times did the stock way under VWAP? It fails at VWAP. This is, if you were quick, you could have got that scalp. But Alex was kind of building a little bit more of a position into this, adding into pre-market resistance around here. So he was started hitting at VWAP, started hitting in here. That's exactly what you should do. And then after this major stuff, guys, Alex was adding in even more and then hitting it harder. FOMO added a 240 potential break and then was covering at 230. Just an absolutely phenomenal job on this especially especially guys squeezing the little range that this stock had the stock didn't have a ton of range you know this midday chat especially if you miss the morning or were a little early on exits you had to play this professionally and that's exactly exactly what alex did so just really proud of him on that and let's see what the members are doing the members of course were you guessed it we're crushing <laughs> But uh, E on Hootie Short, I love this. Again, stock way under VWAP, pops to VWAP. That is where you want to be. I love this. Uh, Vindy Bo, fantastic job on Hootie. Same thing, stocks under VWAP. You know, come the open, guys, we get that VWAP, you know, kind of push. And that's where resistance is met. Uh, Hooper X, just, I had to do a three for three on this, man. Megal, TCBP, NRSN, super slow, lame trading day, but still crushed it. Still freaking crushed it. Are you kidding me? Really good scales, really good use of scales, and a great job. Jeff on GNS. Hell, I love this. Long, hell yeah. Oh my God, it's still going. This is what you want. You want to be crying because here's what happens when you're crying. All of those profits that you already made, there's still so much more to be made. When you're crying, guys, when you're doing you know, crying emojis and complaining about missed profits. That means the market is fun. That's when it gets good. Leon GNS long all out right here. And also right there. Fantastic. It's so much easier to take that second trade when you're already cushioned from the first. And this is what we teach. Uh, TT or what my ex-girlfriend would call me, uh, got along, cut it immediately. And then was like, dang it. And here's the thing, guys, here's the thing. Welcome to trading. If you think every trade is going to look like this, you're out of your mind. Every now and then we're going to psych ourselves out. We're going to, you know, the, that little devil and angel on your shoulder is going to tell you something. You're going to get out. You're going to feel like an idiot or you're going to feel like you're the lamest trader for that day. Or you're going to feel like, man, like, why did I do that? Welcome to trading, guys. You can't beat yourself up. But we do this all the time. Been trading for 10 years. I still feel like that every now and then. You have days like that. It happens. Just don't beat yourself up. So, all right, guys. Friday... $5,400, 5.4K, guys. Very good way to end the week. GNS Hot Chick was on everyone's radar. So the key is to focus on the side chicks. This is what we talk about money flow. Like APPH or COSM just goes to show you, you can still make great money focusing on the side plays of the day. Stock selection, of course, which we sound like broken records, was always and is on point today. Also record today's uh, live trades for the lifetime members, which I'll talk about in a little bit, guys, on what that feature is. But we're talking about GNS, and I'm going to pull everything up. Give me two seconds. I got to fit a lot on these screens, guys. Day two, essentially, you know, it was running the day before, but now we're on uh, Friday the 20th, as you guys can see here. And I'm trying to squeeze everything. GNS, hot chick of the day. This stock trapped all shorts yesterday, which was here. It's been a while since we've had a big runner like this. This was a monster runner, guys. Uh, these are the type of stocks that will take all of your attention, so you must focus uh, on the trade and short all other side stocks or focus on what you're trading specifically as well. You need to really harper in and focus, especially if you are trading the main hot chick or the head of the snake. So uh, moving today, so do not have attentions. Do not trade this just because it's up. It can go higher. Wait for the easier, more predictable setups like Alex was saying. And believe it or not, guys, before the open, Alex was actually longing this. So phenomenal job right there. But let's see what the members were doing. I want to see what the members were doing. So it's always about the members, guys. We could talk about our trades all day and every single Alex and Bao trade, but we want to showcase what the members are doing. So, guys, Gerard on SL, SLRX short, adding to a winner, outer lines. Just phenomenal, phenomenal skills right there. That is just picture perfect. Tom, Tom, my main man, Tom. I love this. Wait for the topped out on APPH, follow down and follow trend down and covered like he should. Quick money, in and out, love it. Wolf doing what he does best. He's always, always, always following downtrend. He's so good at this. As you can see, he draws his trend lines right there in the middle. And what he's doing, he waits for this to crash under VWAP, adds to a winner, and uh, recycles share. Just phenomenal, guys. Just phenomenal job. 
Uh, Bond on GNS, wonderful. Wait for it to top out and then followed it down just like Alex did. But uh, I am going to, you know, make more attention on the members today. And then uh, just this little update right here, guys. Just look at how clear this is. Wait for the top out in the morning. Paid himself and then just again, this stock is way under VWAP, so any push towards VWAP is essentially resistance. Met with resistance of bag holders and followed it down, and then you can see the chart of GNS right there to or GNS to kind of prove that, guys. And you can see that uh, G GNS or GNS, whatever you want to call it, is when a stock is this oversaturated, it's this full blown up, you know, it's just parabolic, and then it's met with such such heavy i'm trying to zoom in here but td's not letting me it's met with such heavy selling in the open guys that's under vwap all day all of these people that are stuck want out and that's exactly what our members were doing alex was doing the members were doing and everybody was you guessed it crushing it so just love to see that love to showcase the process and the highlights of that now guys this is our community so I'm now in Slack. This is our community. Every single day, we have a watch list, which I show you guys. We have an after hours channel, which is so much fun. <laughs> what the heck is Battle up to? When the sun is directly in your face, but your fat ass has to work, <laughs> work out to pig out and drink tonight. Oh my God, Bow, you nut. But uh, guys, this is the power of community. Like share past examples of like, um, you know, pick some meetups, you know, show yourself, you know, show jokes and memes and whatever it is, have a great time and and should, like Steven's off to Dubai, awesome. You know, just just talk about it, just network, get to, <laughs> get to know your fellow traders and have fun and joke around, et cetera, et cetera. This is the main trading chat, guys, where the small caps happen, everything in a nutshell as it equates to what Alex was doing all week. This is where, you know, the commentary happens, the fills, bows, education, sometimes jokes every now and then, but this is, this is what it's all about, guys. This is what you're paying for. This is the membership. This is the mentorship, and it's fun, and it's funny, and, you know, bows educating you all day. Large cap and options, exactly what it sounds like. If you're not a small cap trader, guys, we also have a room for you. So if you want to trade the indexes, you want to trade SPY, NVIDIA, Netflix, things like that, you got that there. And then when it comes to, I'll showcase this, when it comes to our website, I just went to myinvestingclub.com, and there's a couple things I want to show you guys here. So check this out. So when Alex mentioned earlier about his live trading series, I'm going to go to the video library because there's a couple things I want to make clear on our website. If you scroll down, what you can see is the full roadmap of trading and all of our content uh, that you can watch on any time you know, schedule that you need. But if you scroll down right here, guys, Alex's Live Trades. This is our newest feature of the video library, and it's unparalleled to educational platforms of what's out there. This is, this is, this is it, guys. This is, this is the coup de grace. Alex is literally live recording his trades. And then what he does for lifetime members exclusively, so you gotta you gotta upgrade to get this, or you gotta go lifetime directly. But Alex will record his trades live, and then he'll come in and send it to our editing team and come in with audio commentary, as you guys can see after the fact, and we'll edit it together and splice it together so you guys can learn. So while not everything is recorded live, like Alex's commentary, that'd just be too hard while he's trading. The trade is recorded live, and then he comes in later with audio commentary, watches it back, tells you what he was thinking, tells you about the size. You can see that on the screen, and it's just unbelievable for learning, guys. This is one of the best resources out there to see what it means to be a trader. It's literally live trading, and Alex commentating and making sure that you are understanding the whole process. So... If I go back to right here, if I click this little guy icon, what you're going to see is you have a full motherboard dashboard. I'm signed in, obviously, T. Bradley 90. But guys, this is really important. So it's just, you know, it's a personalized experience on the site. You need to text 213-458-5997 to get your questions answered, immediate questions. But better than that is book a free mentorship call. So if there's anything that you want to flush out, if you want to get on the phone call with me, guys, a one-on-one -on -one and just see if MIC is for you, fill this out and I will literally schedule a time slot for you and we will talk and we'll see if MIC is for you. Now, last things last, <laughs> I should say, um, this is always kind of like what we have fun with every single week, guys. I don't really need to do this as you guys can get almost eyeball it, but we're going to do it. So it's just too fun plugging in the numbers, right? So, okay, so $102,000 on Tuesday plus 6,500 on Wednesday, plus 4,200 on Thursday, and 5,400, give or take a couple dollars, literally just a couple dollars, like 50 or 100 bucks here and there. Guys, $118,000 four-day trading week for Alex. You can say that the small account challenge that you started at the beginning of the year at 35K account, now upwards of 400 plus thousand dollars in what? 
what's the date today? The date the, it's the twenty first today. Filming this on Saturday, guys. Twenty one days into January, Alex is up four hundred thousand dollars and one hundred eighteen thousand on this week alone. This is the power of the club. This is the power of MIC. And if you are not texting me or booking a call to see if MIC is for you, then guys, you just don't want it bad enough. I'm sorry. I got to be a little tough love. We are ironing out process for every trader out there, no matter what your no matter what your past experience looks like, no matter if you're brand new, no matter if you've got 10 jobs and three wives and 15 kids, we will find a strategy that works for you because we teach small cap, big caps, options, and swing trading. So you don't need to be glued to screens every single day, but for the few, or for the lucky few that have an open schedule in the morning, we're going to show you everything we do within the first couple hours, make your money, and then boom, you're out. And then go be a dentist, be a lawyer, be an electrician, like do your day job. You do not have to quit your job to become a trader. You just have to find some time around your schedule to milk some money out of the market. And that's what we teach in so many different ways to skin a cat. So whether you have the, you know, the first hour of the open, you know, you have the first hour of the day at your, at the, at your available schedule, or you have midday or late day, or you want to be a swing trader in the longer time frames and only check into the market a couple times a week, guys, we teach it all and you got to hit me up. So this was the uh, ESPN highlight reel, guys. I will see you next week again for another highlight reel, and we'll see what's going on next week. See you guys.